Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I'm going to be doing your reading for the week of May 3rd. May 3rd through May 8th. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this video resonates with you or your situation, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Um, your current energy is the Eight of Wands. Justice is influencing this energy. And you have the Eight of Cups for your past energy. What is the immediate past energy for the sign of Scorpio spirit? What is the immediate past energy for the sign of Scorpio? I see the three of wands. I tried to do a video prior to this one, but I was interrupted. Okay. You have the page of wands for your immediate past energy. And your crowning thoughts, the eight the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords. What is the future energy for the sign of Scorpio? Okay. The King of Cups. That's your energy. You fear the Knight of Cups. How others see you, they see you as the Knight of Pentacles. You're hoping for strength. And what is your outcome? What is the outcome for the sign of Scorpio spirit? What is the outcome for the sign of Scorpio? Okay, we have the page of swords and the reverse. Okay. And we have the fool, the two, I'm sorry, the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's start this reading, Scorpio. So Scorpio, you could be currently thinking about or have on your mind taking quick action to have some type of conversation with that eight of wands being there. You could be thinking about having some type of quick action to make um, a conversation, action to, to um, after a delay, to communicate something to someone so that the situation can bang us out with the justice card, where you could be dealing with the Libra. Or have Libra in your chart. Your past energy was the Eight of Cups. Your past energy was the Eight of Cups. So in the past, you could have abandoned a path, abandoned someone, or you could have, or you could feel as if someone abandoned you. Because the energies could be vice versa. And with the page of wands being here, you were waiting for someone to come in with a message, a good message. So maybe that's why you're thinking about this conversation. You or someone is thinking about this conversation. Right now, you feel as if you are being restricted with this eight of swords being here. You feel as though you're restricted. You're bound to something. And you have two eights. Eight represents new beginnings. But with the Eight of Swords, you feel restricted. But if you look at this card, this person, she's not, that rope is not wrapped tight around her. There isn't any chains and locks around. She can kind of like shake and shimmy it off and then take that blindfold off and knock those swords down. So this could be something that's in your mind. This could be mental. You could feel restricted mentally. Matter of fact, 
You have you have three eight, Scorpio. You got an eight of swords. You have an eight of wands. And then you have an eight of cups. So there's definitely, definitely something about to take place with all of those eights. Now that I'm looking at the spread. Yeah. You're walking up, you've walked away, someone walked away. Someone wanted to take action, someone walked away, someone felt restricted. It's like a circle. A circle to a new beginning. That's what I feel. That's what spirit is saying. It's it's a circle. Because there's just a foundation on this card at the bottom of the deck. This is just, I'm looking at the, this is just a foundation. And I know this card is not pinnacles, but I have to uh, say what, I, what, what I'm seeing and what I feel. I feel as though there's, this is a foundation with this Eight of Wands. Someone is taking action, maybe fast action to communicate about a foundation of a of of something maybe a relationship with this eight of cups right underneath in the past energy so this could be a past relationship and they feel restricted you feel restricted right now so let's find out why you feel restricted why do you feel restricted Spirit, why is Scorpio feeling restricted at this time? Okay. That came out quick. Mm -hmm. I'm using this Shadow Sculpt Tarot deck. So, and your energy came out. You feel restricted. Maybe you're going through a transformation at this time, Scorpio. With the death card. That's your energy. You may be going through... And that's why I said it with this Eight of Swords, this could be mental, you feel restricted, but this could be all in your mind. Like, you could be feeling restricted because you have to go through this transformation. You have to go through this transformation. And then the other card that came out with it with the Three of Swords in reverse. The Three of Swords in reverse. So... You're no longer arguing about anything. And this transformation is taking place. And this it, it may be causing you not to want, you may not want to argue anymore. Maybe that's what this transformation is about. But in the future, you have the King of Cups. This is your energy. Again. So, you could be taking a lead in the situation. Taking a lead in the situation. <clears throat> but you could fear with the Knight of Cups. You could be fearing that. And that um, could be your energy or your partners. But you fear that you fear romance at this time. You fear love. This, this, um... Knight of Cups moves slowly. This horse is is moving like it's tired. He looks tired. That horse looks tired. So you could feel tired at this time, or you or you fear that you're moving too slow. Like you want to give someone this cup of love. But you're, you're in your head and you're moving slow. Others see you as the Knight of Pentacles. And again, we have two knights here. And we have two knights and two pages. So this could be immature energy. Definitely immature energy. And then we have one king. But... I see a lot of immature energy, but others see you as a knight of pentacles. So 
others are seeing you as being like we maybe there's going to be a positive outcome in the future and i'm going to say maybe in a not so soon future because this horse is not even moving like this horse is just standing here the knight of pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck and he's not even moving So maybe you are moving too slow in the situation. You're moving too slow. But that's because you need strength with the strength card. Or there's a Leo involved. Or you have Leo in your chart. But Scorpio, you could need strength. To move forward in this situation. Because both of these knights. Fear. You're fearing. And how other, others see you. Both of these energies. Are slow. So you definitely. You're definitely going to need strength. And then with the page of swords. In the reverse. You or someone is going to take action. Someone's going to take action. There's, there isn't going to be any more delays. No more delays. No more disappointing news. You're taking action. So let's see what your love oracle card is. Spirit, can I have a love oracle card for the sign of Scorpio? Love Oracle card for the sign of Scorpio. And again, you could be dealing with a, a Libra, a Leo, um, a Leo, a Libra, um, or another Scorpio as yourself. Spirit, what is, can I have one Love Oracle card for the sign of Scorpio? Cassette. The cassette card came out and it says outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So, as I said earlier, as the card said, the spirit says, the energy says, you're in your head. You are restricting yourself because you're replaying things over and over in your head. And it's causing you to feel restricted in a situation. So, Scorpio, that is your reading for the week of May 3rd through May 10th. I hope this reading resonates with your situation. If so, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. I'm sending love, light, peace, and healing energy into the world. I thank you for watching. Be safe. Enjoy your week. Bye.